All right, this is question number three on homework number six. Please make sure that your name is on the top of your paper um, before you come to class. So this one is asking to find the perimeter of the figure below. We know that perimeter means all of the sides added together. So once we figure out these missing sides, this one, this one, and this one, then we would need to add everything up. So in this case, we have um, eight over here. We see that we have a side that's exactly the same over here. So we are automatically know that this side is also gonna be eight. Then for the ones that are a little bit trickier, um, we have a horizontal side here. I'm gonna grab a marker so you can see this in color. So I have this side, a horizontal side. I have this side, a horizontal side. And I have this side, a horizontal side. And if we were to put those three lengths together, they would equal this one side. So if I'm gonna solve this mathematically, I can say, I don't know what this one is, so I'm gonna label it x. But I know that x plus three plus four has to equal nine. So I could set that up over here and say nine equals, so that whole length would be this plus this plus this, x plus three plus four. Then I can just solve this. I have two integers, so I can add those together. Three plus four is gonna be positive seven. Carry down my x and carry down my nine and my equal sign. Then I have nine equals x plus seven. I need to move this integer to combine with this. Right now it's being added. To undo that, I'm gonna do minus seven on both sides. We would cancel this out and I'm left with x on this side. Nine minus seven would be two. So I now know that that missing side is two. The only other side that I'm missing is this one right here. And this one we see has a equivalent side over here, which would be six. So now for the perimeter, I need to add eight plus two plus six plus three plus six plus four plus eight plus nine. I'll write those numbers down, but then it's gonna be up to you to add those. So eight, and one thing I like to do is check them off so that I know that I'm not adding them twice. So eight plus two, got the two, plus six, got the six, plus three, Check that off, six, check that off, four, check that off, eight, and our last one, nine. So those check marks are a good habit to get into so that you, um, you make sure that you don't add the same number twice or that you miss a number. So now go ahead and add those up and then circle your final answer down here.